guys, so if you remember in my last video, I was trying to organize my magazine collection, and I had made a temporary magazine holder out of a cereal box. But it's really ugly, and the box isn't very sturdy. So today, I'm going to show you how to make your own much more durable and colorful magazine holders. So you're going to need to start with a fairly thick cardboard so that it's really sturdy. You'll need two rectangles a bit bigger than your magazine, a back piece, a bottom piece, and a short front piece. And make sure when you're taking measurements for the sizes that you compensate for the width of the material. It takes a little trial and error, but you'll get the hang of it. So once you have all of that cut out, cut a triangle out of the two rectangles to make that magazine holder shape. And then if you want to, sand down the edges if they had gotten a little messy. Now it's time for the fun part, decorating. I used some colorful duck brand duct tape on the sides and the bottom, some white duct tape on the insides and the front, and some black gaff tape on the back. And then for the front to label them, I actually made a photocopy of one of the magazine covers at 50% and I attached it with a silver clip. I just thought that was a really fun way to label them and it's not permanent so you can switch these out if you decide to bring in new magazines or put some magazines away. You can also decorate the back side of the holder if that's how you want to display it, but I actually like being able to see the spines on my bookshelf so I like to display it like that. So once you have all of your pieces decorated, it's time to glue them together. I just used hot glue, just make sure you let it warm up for a while so that it gets really hot. Make sure when you're gluing it that everything stays at right angles and is properly aligned and that's really all there is to it. Of course you can always just go out and buy some magazine holders and decorate them but that can get a little bit pricey if you're buying a lot of really high quality ones. And this project you can do for free if you just have a few boxes and some tape lying around. And they're so fun to decorate, there are so many possibilities of what you could do. You could leave the tape off entirely and just paint it. You could do some sort of collage or glue some scrapbooking paper on here. You could label it in about a million different ways, so if you decide to make one, or several, feel free to send me photos on Twitter or Tumblr, I'd love to see what you guys come up with. I also included a link below of a graphic I made with all the dimensions of the ones that I made, but really you could make them at any size. Ah, uh, they're so colorful, I just want to make like six more and have a whole rainbow of them across my bookshelf, and I mean then I'll have an excuse to buy more magazines so everyone wins! except for my wallet. So if you missed my last video, I gave you guys a tour of my newly reorganized craft supply area. You can watch that right here. And if you want to see more of my crafting tutorials, I have an entire playlist for you right here. I'm off to go reread every episode of the brilliant HGTV magazine. I will see you all next time. <laughs>